Hey guys, Jerry Mitchell here, and we're going to talk about ammunition choices for competition or ammunition choices in general, the plus factors and the minus factors. And one thing about competition, we get to shoot ammunition in a broad variety of situations, night fire, rapid fire, low light, intense light, you have a weapons light mounted onto your, onto your platform. And so what you try to do when you choose the right ammunition, you want it to have minimum smoke, minimum flash, minimum recoil for the job at hand. So I'll give you an idea, in three gun, what I use for a shotgun slug, and I, when, it, when you say shotgun slug, to me my hair raises up, I, I truly dislike a shotgun slug as much as anybody, but Fiocchi came on board with me a couple years ago, and they asked me my opinion on a shotgun slug, and the first thing I told them, every slug I ever shot in competition smoked too much, led your barrel, it dirted your gas system, so they said how to make it better, I said you need to put a coating on your slug and they immediately took my advice which is really shocking they wanted to make a better product and they, and they realized the shooters wanted a better product for three gun when the money comes into the game people want to compete and they want to train right they want to have the right ammunition so this little bit of coating on this slug makes a huge difference in different lighting conditions but it also keeps your gun cleaner for a longer period of time so we've got a GoPro set up over the shoulder I'm going to do a STL drill, share the love with some shotgun slugs. Have never done that before, so it's going to kind of be fun. I've got 10 rounds of this JM 7 8 ounce with the coated slug at 1300 feet a second. This is what I use in competition. So, what I want you to do is just get an idea of how much smoke you see coming out of the gun because a lot of times when we fire into the sun, you have a low, the sun's just coming up over the horizon, you make a shot there'd be so much smoke that you'd have to physically move your position, if you could, to fire another shot. Same thing in low light. So the minimum amount of smoke, minimum amount of recoil, maximum on target performance. So anyway, we're going to shoot these slugs rapid fire. And the whole idea for you guys is just to watch and see what I'm seeing as the shooter. And let's go ahead and shoot this STL drill. It's going to be kind of fun. I haven't done it before. Here we go with the shotgun. Here we go. Ah. Got him. <laughs> All right. That was kind of fun, guys. Woo. Let's see, our number nine. 209. So I'll give you an idea, that was 10 shots. I had to... Uh, I had a malfunction on the last shot. That was my, my, my fault there. I kind of soft-shouldered. I got to looking at the target. I was so impressed with that first target. I was looking back, soft-shouldered it. Last round came out the mag, kind of, kind of weak. But anyway, did you get an idea how much smoke I was seeing as a competitor? So now we're going to change slugs and show you the difference. Okay. I didn't want to go wide open. I've never shot that STL with a slug, so I really didn't know what to expect. But give you an idea. First shot was 4,700, it's a little bit slow off the timer. So we got four and two, came over to the right and had two. Of course, when I came over here, that was the first shot and I soft shouldered, but I have to be totally honest with you. I haven't shot that gun in a long time and I actually need to uh, clean it, I think. <laughs> Mag tube is getting a little dirty. I need to get a new spring in it, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot a different slug. So what I want you to watch is the amount of smoke, if it's better or worse, and we'll kind of Kind of review it. Let's go do it. Hey guys, if you noticed that last shot was a malfunction, and I do have to say I haven't looked at this gun since last year when I, when I shot three gun matches. Of course, this year everything has been canceled, so I haven't detailed it since last year. And one of the things I do every season is change the magazine spring. And I give you an idea. Of course, I'm flagged here. Is that you can see the magazine spring is way too short. And one thing about magazine springs in an action shotgun like this, this is a 15 round tube. So this spring really takes a severe beating and you can see it's not enough pressure to throw that last round out of the mag. So when this spring would be new, it would sit up about right here. So that's how much compression I've lost over a year's worth of shooting. So to make it go another string, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. It won't last, but it'll last the session. Now you see it's a little bit a little bit better so you wouldn't get that last round misfeed and that's characteristic of any shotgun is that magazine spring quality has to be there 
and you have to stay on top of it or you'll get malfunctions just like I had. So my only excuse is I've been lazy and I haven't been competing. So uh, we're going to change ammunition and do it right. Here we go. Okay, guys, I got another ammunition here. It's a Fiocchi load. It's a one ounce at 1560 feet per second. So the load I shoot in three gun is seven eighths at 1300. So this is more like a hunting load. If I had a polar bear coming after me, this is what I'd want. But I'll show you the, the effects of a not coated slug versus a coated slug. Of course, in three gun, all we have to do is put a hole in the target and it satisfies the course requirement or knock the target down. If you need heavier ammunition, and this is going to be true of everybody's manufacturer that produces a slug that's not coated. So after I shoot these series of rounds, I'll shoot a couple of more of different manufacturers and you'll see the, the level of smoke that's still there. So if it's not coated, you're just going to get smoke. This is going to be a pretty graphic picture of what we have to put up with as a competitor and why we want ammunition. You can imagine at night, I know, shut up and shoot. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is high velocity hunting ammunition. So it's going to rock and roll a little bit more. So I might have to go a little bit slower. So let's see what it looks like. As you can see, quite a bit of difference in the amount of smoke and the recoil. Gun likes it, function really good. There again, if I had a polar bear coming after me or I had a Buick charging me, I might want that ammunition. But in three gun, I want minimum recoil, minimum smoke. And I'm gonna get some different brands of ammunition. Let's take a look at the targets right quick. We're flagged up, let's take a look. I really didn't know what to expect. I haven't shot a high velocity slug since the old days. So uh, 263, gun worked better. You see stretching that spring a little bit, got me over the hump. Now when I get back to the house, I'm gonna have to detail it and put a new spring in it. But anyway, four and two and two and two, uh, 2.6 seconds. Not bad, a lot of smoke. Let's get some other manufacturers of non-coated slugs and just shoot rapid fire three or four rounds and let, give you an idea it's going to be with everybody who doesn't have a coated slug going to give you the same performance. Okay guys, we're back. I got another manufacturer of slugs. I'm not bashing anybody's product, but what I want you to understand is you, as a competitor, you might want to tailor your ammunition to what you want to do with it. I've shot this brand of ammunition before. It's great ammo. It shoots good. It's accurate. It functions great. But uh, like all non-coated slugs, it gives you that same effect. So. Let's go ahead and shoot these. We're just going to rapid fire five of them in the middle. So just watch the muzzle and watch the smoke or lack of. And let's give it some love here. Whoa, that was easy. I missed the trigger. Let's do it again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Four more. Still a lot of smoke coming out. Great functioning ammo. Let's get another brand. Here's another brand of ammo, another great product. Uh, it's a non-coated slug. I'm just trying to give you some ideas on what's available on the market and the, and the plus side and the, and the downside. So uh, here's another one. Here we go. Another brand, uncoated slug. Same target, five rounds. As you can see, about the same effect. Doesn't really mean much when the lighting is great and the conditions are great, but in situations where things are not optimum, lighting in your face, you got a flashlight on your gun, you get all this ambient smoke, just like shooting in a fog. So choose your ammunition wisely and always get some. <laughs>